Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 19 of Let's Play Civilization 5 Revenue World. So, I'm going to continue where I left off. In the previous part, I got gold reward from the international games. I went a little bit overboard with that, but I don't regret it. I was a little bit surprised that Pedro didn't go for gold, but whatever. I guess he's not that committed to cultural victory after all. So, my tourism right now is at 102 because I'm getting the top reward from international games for 20 turns, which is 100% increased tourism. Which makes me the leader in tourism output. I would actually be the leader in tourism output even without that bonus, which is a little bit funny. How's my influence anyway? Yeah, that's not really relevant, but I'm just checking out of curiosity, to be honest. What's that unit? Oh, that's a unit from the city-state. And two, two of my cities were on top of that list. I just didn't catch the rest. Right, there's a lot going on. Yeah, that's all city-state messages. I want to check the other ones. That's a new unit again. Which is not all that useful for me, but I can always gift him to some city-state or whatever. Right, I could get a culture boost, but that's not really necessary. I'm going to get a great work, obviously. The most precious thing in life is its uncertainty. Leaving something incomplete makes it interesting and gives one the feeling that there is room for growth. All right, onwards. So, oh yeah, this unit. Rough terrain, whatever, it doesn't really matter. So, nothing else to do right here. Hubble telescope will be done in three turns and that's going to give me three great Santis, uh, two great Santis. Yeah, sure, I do want your gold. And other than the two great Santis that I'm going to get from Hubble Telescope, I'm also about to get a lot more great Santis myself. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, look at this list. I have a lot more great Santis coming up. Okay, let's see how much gold I can get from him for this. Nice. So now I could grab one more city-state. Oh yeah, I actually need to bribe the one I already had. Okay. Wow, he's 72 ahead of me. Did I have this city-state? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I did for a moment. So, what's the easiest city-state I could possibly get? There's no gold quest anywhere other than in the city-state that I already control. Probably this one, Sydney. That's the easiest target. So, I'm going to grab Sydney in just a moment. I'm surprised I didn't get extra influence from the unit I gifted. I'm not sure why. I could just give them one more unit, maybe. Yeah, now I can't. Well, anyway, whatever. I'm going to kick Shaka out. I'm not sure if it's going to work if I give them 500 gold. I think I will be one influence ahead of him. There we go. Yes, I'm allied with Sydney now, so that's great. So, I'm controlling five city-states, the Shoshone control three, Ahmad controls one, no, Ahmad controls three, and Pedro controls one. So, that's good, that means no one will be able to win the vote for world leader. If I got a few more city-states, I would almost be able to win that myself, but I actually want to finish my spaceship, which I didn't even get started on, because I'm still building the Apollo program in Warsaw, obviously. So, let's see... i grab an opera house. I could still use another archaeologist or two. So maybe I should get that instead. Yeah, let's grab archaeologist. I have at least two more antiquity sites that I can excavate, I think. Yeah, this one and this one. So that's at least two more antiquity sites and there's another one over here at least i think it's still there it's inside the fog of war so it might be gone it was no, there okay. last i checked anyway that's why i can still see it on the map but tourism is not really a concern i actually find it a little bit ironic that i'm the leader in tourism output right now even though i wasn't prioritizing tourism at all in this game to say the least I was actually ignoring tourism for a long time. Another one, okay. 
and new trade route. It would be nice if I could just click some easy button here and get the previous trade route. The pre previous trade route is usually marked on this list, but it's not easy to find. I'll j oh yeah, this is the previous one, so that's definitely not good anymore. I think I'll go for trade route with one of the city-states. So, plus 15 with Jerusalem. Fine by me. So, I'm actually kind of tempted to get the Golden Age with this guy now, because that benefits me more than extra great work of art. It will give me 20% extra production, I think it's 20%. Not to mention extra gold, so I'm going to grab a Golden Age. I think that was a better choice in this situation. So, research is done. Now I could build the boosters, if only I had the Apollo program ready, which I don't. Which one can I get faster? Probably particle physics, yeah. So I'll go for particle physics first, and then for nanotechnology. Alright, let's do that. Do I need any wonders from here? Sydney Opera House might be kind of useful, but not really. Actually, no, it's not useful at all. Not at this stage of the game anyway. Let's grab a bank for a little bit of extra money. I'm not bothering with culture too much because I really don't need it. And there's no AI hugely ahead in tourism. Because I could focus on culture if I thought one of the AIs would be capable of getting enough tourism no, 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 to okay. start influencing me. But that's not going to happen. Let's see... Yeah, it's mostly Brazil. I think Brazil has the most generated tourism. But they are nowhere close to influencing everyone. They, they are not influencing anyone at all yet. And they would have to pass me, Portugal. Portugal has a lot of culture, so it would be very hard for them to pass Portugal. Well, either way, you get the point. I don't think they are capable of winning a cultural victory. They are not influential over any other civilization yet, and this is already turn 328. I will be done with the spaceship in 30 turns, maybe. Probably a little bit more. Maybe 40, 50. Okay, let's use this to get ecology. And now I can use this guy to get telecommunications. Yeah. I need to wait 9 turns to actually finish Apollo program. I delayed the Apollo program a little bit too much, actually. But it's fine. I still need the technologies. I never built the East India Company, which I should have. But it's okay, it won't really affect the game. Stock exchange is done. So... Do I want to bother with Broadcast Tower? Not really. I don't need a stadium either. So I could get medical lab or nuclear plant. It requires one uranium and I only got two. So I need to think about which cities I want to get that in. I definitely want to get it in Asor. So let's do that. I could get a hydro plant here. Let's check the ranking. This is my third top production city. So I am going to grab a hydro plant in here, like so. The mine is done. I don't have any more sources of uranium, so I will only have two uranium in this game. Unless I get it from some city-state or fruit trays, but that probably won't happen. So I think this game is in the bag at this point. It will take a little bit longer than it should. Yes, that was terrible camera work. It will take a little bit longer than I should because of the delayed Apollo program, which was kind of the fault of international games. I went a little bit overboard on that. I didn't even have to prevent Pedro from getting gold because he wasn't going for it. Jerusalem seeks a great prophet, okay. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my faith for another great scientist, which I can do right about now. 
In fact, I can do it literally right now. So let's grab one. There we go. I should have grabbed him on the previous turn just to speed this up a little bit. Bank is done. This city has low production, so I don't really need hydro plant in here or anything like that. I'll grab amphitheater because I can. This city is a little bit low on hammers too. So I could just get one more archaeologist in here. These are going to be my last two archaeologists, I think. I only see two more antiquity sites in my territory. I'm not going to bother with the one next to the city-states. I'm just making sure that these are the last two. I don't see any more antiquity sites around here. Right, so I can focus on something else instead. The castle, probably. Yeah, I need the castle. Especially since I have the wonder. So castle gives me a lot of awesome bonuses. It would be funny if I was able to win diplomatic victory before getting the spaceship, but I kind of want to get the spaceship. There's going to be a world leader vote in 19 turns or in 8 turns. Let's have a look at the world congress. Oh yeah, that's my vote for the world ideology. I might be able to get that. We'll see. I think I would have to trade for votes with someone. I got some achievement, whatever. So that's done. Seven more turns to finish Apollo program, okay. Bank is done. This city has decent production, I believe. So I could get something in there. Actually, no, it's not that great. Actually, it's pretty awful. Wood is pretty good, though. And I'm already building... Hydro plant in there. Okay. Asur is over 100 hammers now, so that's good to see. And I'm about to get archaeologist. I'm pretty much just waiting to finish this game now. Because I don't expect to see anything major happening. I don't think the AIs are going to declare mass war on me or anything like that. Apparently some people had that happen. But that never happened to me before. So if it can happen, that must be kind of new in Brave New World. Okay, nice. So my spies succeeded. Rigging the elections. Let's have a look. I'll just have a look at the list instead of looking at the notifications because that's easier and faster. Okay, so I'm allied with a lot of city-states now, holy crap. I might actually be able to win through diplomatic victory, that would be very, very ironic to say the least. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of votes from this. Can I steal some more city-states before that vote? No. But yeah. That would be very, very funny if it happened. The vote is going to happen in 17 turns, so that's quite a lot of time. The next vote is for the world ideology, not for the world leader. I don't think the vote for the world leader is going to be in 17 turns, that's just the proposal. And then I'll have to wait for it another world congress or United Nations, so that's 27 turns, I think. I don't think I'm wrong about that. Anyway. 42 hammers here, not very impressive. So what can I get? I could just grab recycling center to get more aluminium. And then get more hydro plants. I suppose I wouldn't mind getting hydro plant here, but... Oh yeah, that's plus... Yeah, actually that's... No, hold on. Plus one production from every tile next to a river. There are a lot of tiles next to a river here, so that's pretty decent in that city. And I'll just finish Opera House here. Most stacked unit. Oh yeah, the archaeologist, right. Let's grab this side then. Do I actually have enough slots? Look at my happiness, 51. Yeah, I do have enough slots. I have two more slots available, so that's not a problem at all. Let's continue. 
G to an No, I'm enter. not giving you open borders. So how's that Apollo program? Six turns. So this is going to be a bit of a drag, I think. Because there's nothing Defeat exciting happening. Através do comércio. I'm actually going to refuse. Well, I'm definitely not giving him whales, but my science rate is not a concern anymore. My production is, because this Apollo program is delaying my spaceship parts production. I can't get started on spaceship parts until Apollo program is done. So that's a little bit annoying. Another unit from city-state. Is that rocket artillery? I think so. Yeah, no, that's mobile sum, okay. Well, whatever. I'll keep it over here, or somewhere near Warsaw, it doesn't really matter. You can stay here. And let's dig. Aqueduct is done, I'll just grab a stock exchange here. Or... It doesn't even matter all that much what exactly I'm building. Yeah, let's grab stock exchange for a little bit of extra gold. I'm getting massive income right now. So if I wanted to, I could probably win diplomatic victory easier. Easy. It's definitely not going to be a problem. I need 51% of all votes, I think. And I already have... What? Seven city-states? Yeah, I got seven city-states and I would be able to bribe more with the kind of income that I'm getting right now. The AIs are not exactly rich at the moment. Indonesia has a lot of gold. And that's about it. Ahmad has almost 2,000. Cargo ship. So I'll just go for one of the trade routes with the city-states. I'm just going to avoid giving the AI more gold at this stage of the game. I think that's a good decision. And I don't want to spend too much time just going through that entire list. Because it's kind of irrelevant. So, hydro plant is done. Do I, want, do I need more aluminium? Not necessarily. I'll just get a medical lab. Nuclear plant is done. So, do I want one of these wonders? I could totally get Manhattan Project and build a nuke because I can. This might be cool. This would give me a free broadcast tower in every city. That's kind of useful, especially since I don't plan to waste time building broadcast towers myself. So, yeah, that's kind of useful. Sydney Opera House. I don't need extra free policy at this stage of the game. I don't need plus 50% production when building armored units or, again, extra free policy. So I'll go for the CN Tower, because why not? Can I increase production in this city anymore? No. I could get stock exchange first, I suppose. Yeah, for a little bit of extra money. I want to have enough gold, just to be sure the AI won't be able to get diplomatic victory. This is extremely unlikely at this stage. But, you know, I'd rather be careful. Even overly careful about that. I'm actually thinking about turning off diplomatic victory in my future games, because this is still pretty much economic victory. And from what I played already, I think it's actually easier to get diplomatic victory than it was in previous... Uh, than it was in Gods and Kings. Well, at least it's definitely not harder. And I do think it's easier. And it comes so early in the game. So I'm really tempted to just turn it off in future games. Let me know what you think in the comments below, because I will have more games after this one is done. And obviously this one will be done very, very soon. No, I don't need research agreements at this point. I should probably upgrade some of my units with the kind of income that I'm getting. Apollo program will be done in four turns. I can't really speed this up in any way. I could cut out some of the parts of the video, but... Who knows, maybe something exciting will still happen. How's the tourism? 
Yeah, Brazil is only at 56 stories, that's not a lot, not at all. It's pretty obvious that he's not capable of winning this game. I mean, it was obvious long ago, but just in case you had any doubts. I know I didn't. So, let's grab a museum. I don't think I need more slots, but I might need one more slot. Well, I am going to need one more slot if I generate another great artist, but if I generate another great artist, I'm probably just going to use him for Golden Age. Assyrian artifact, yeah. The Assyrian civilization doesn't exist anymore. The artifact is all that's left. Can I get plus two bonus? Maybe. I can get plus one, fine by me. Yeah, I'm going to need at least one more museum. Come on, finish the Apollo program already. My capital only has 57 hammers, that's actually not a lot. Alright, give me all your gold. Three gold per turn, two gold per turn, fine. But yeah, the reason why it's taking this long is because my production in Warsaw is actually pretty low right now. It's one of my lower production cities at this stage. Assur is at something like 112. Yeah, 112, exactly. So that's almost twice as much as in Warsaw. That's more than twice as much. Well, no, that's almost exactly twice as much. Come on. Let's have a look at city-states then. I'm definitely going to be able to get the word ideology. Unless everyone votes against it. I would be surprised. Especially since some of the AIs also got order. So they are probably going to vote for it. Next turn. My golden age ended, unfortunately, but I'm still getting 181 gold per turn, which is pretty awesome. And I'm about to get more from the stock exchange. And another stock exchange here. And another one in Asur, so... I'm about to get a lot of gold. So, I do have to say, I actually expected this game to be a little bit harder. I mean, this is Emperor. And it definitely doesn't feel like Emperor. Or, or let me rephrase that. Emperor in Brave New World feels easier than Emperor in Gods and Kings. And that's considering I wasn't familiar with all the new game mechanics of Brave New World when I was starting this game. Right, another trade route. I'll just get one with the city-state. Plus 13. No, not this one. Monaco. So I might try playing on Immortal. The problem with that is that there was always a huge gap between Emperor and Immortal. So, so I'm not quite sure how well I'll be able to handle that. But with a slightly more optimized strategy... Who knows? Maybe it would be fine. Okay, Shaka is trying to kick me out of Sydney. Okay, that's not nice. And he actually did succeed, but it's okay, I got a lot of gold. I can outbribe him. Oh, he actually has a war with Brazil, right. I've not been paying too much attention to the notifications about war because they are kind of irrelevant. It doesn't affect my strategy one bit, unless someone attacks me. And that's definitely not going to happen, I don't think it will. Another great scientist, so I'm going to save him. Until particle physics research is done. Where's the railroad here? I can barely see it. Oh, it's up here on this tile. Okay. Stock exchange in Astor is done. So, what now? I could totally build Manhattan Project. But I'm going to grab the CN Tower. I not really need it, but I don't have anything better to do in Astor. I can't boost my production here. Or can I? No. Oh, I could get the windmill, but that's only plus two production. I suppose that's always useful. But I already started the CN Tower, so I'm going to finish it. Am I going to get a great... Portugal lost its capital, okay. Oh, wow. Indonesia 
actually captured Lisbon. Interesting. Yeah, in Indonesia is doing quite well right now, considering they were one of the weaker civilizations in this game. And Portugal is going to get wiped out. Casimir, oh, that's me there. <laughs> I thought one of the AIs completed the Apollo program. That was my first instinct when I saw that notification, but that's me. Right. Oh yeah, and I got a new policy. I don't think I need anything in here. Yeah, these are completely useless for me. I remember that. So I'll just grab a free great artist. That's actually kind of useful because I can use him for golden age and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So now I can get started on the spaceship parts. So scratch that CN tower. Let's get started on spaceship parts. So cockpit actually booster here. Well, it doesn't really matter which part I'm going to build where. Booster. And... Booster. Right. And I can build cockpit in wood. There we go. And I can't build anything else for now. Yeah, I need the technologies. Archaeologist is done. Not that it really matters at this stage. It doesn't even matter what I'm going to build here. It definitely doesn't. So let's grab a stock exchange. Oh yeah, assign delegates. So I'm going to push world ideology. It should pass. I, at least I think it will. Some of the other AIs also have order. I forgot which ones. Oh yeah, Morocco and Indonesia also have order. So it's almost definitely going to pass. It's funny how I'm still having the minus 13 penalty. And it's kind of irrelevant anyway. Oh, I could use the Great Santis right now and get started uh, on the engine, but I want to finish the hydro plant. So I'll wait with that. Okay, is this my last archaeologist? I think so. Where was the last site? I don't even remember. Oh yeah, right here. No, that's not mine. There was one more site somewhere, I think. Or was there? Oh yeah, this one. Right, okay. But that is my last archaeologist. I don't see any more antiquity sites. Cargo ship again. Hanoi, Quebec City. Yeah, it doesn't even matter anymore. It would matter if the AI could put up a fight in terms of any kind of victory. But it can't. Which I find a little bit surprising, because this is turn 338, and this is Emperor. Again, I'm not sure if this is just my luck in this game or something, but Emperor in Brave New World seems to be easier than Emperor in Gods and Kings. And that's with me not playing this game optimally. Right, so with Parallel Physics done... I still need nanotechnology, that might take a while, well, not that long, with my tech rate, it shouldn't take that long. Yeah, world ideology order, so that gives me extra votes, I think. So I need 32 delegates to win world leader propos proposal, or anyone else needs 32 votes to win world leader proposal. Which is basically not going to happen at all. Which is good for me. Unless these other AIs vote for someone else, but I don't think that's going to happen. At least I have not seen it happen. Right. But I'm still going to finish my spaceship as fast as I can, obviously. Which basically means I have to get nanotechnology as fast as possible. I will definitely finish all the other parts before I get nanotechnology. That's kind of obvious. It's funny how Pedro still wants to extend that deal for horses and iron. I'm almost thinking that's a bug, because the AIs usually don't want to trade for this later in the game. So it's kind of weird that he still wants to trade for that in modern era, well, atomic era. More information era. 
I've never seen that happen in my other games. So I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, the turns for the city states are taking a while sometimes. I'm not even going to renew these Every deals month. because I don't have to. Dynamite stolen, yeah, whatever, you can have it. I suppose I could move one of my spies to my capital just to prevent others from stealing my technologies. But it doesn't matter all that much. They are way behind me in technology, so yeah. I'm so far ahead of the average. And Portugal is at 59%, yeah. They can have dynamite, I don't mind. All the technology is old. So now let's grab engine in here. Like so. And now I can get combustion. I'll just do it like this. Just click on the technology like so. And there we go. I should get at least a few more great scientists easily. New production in Nimrod. Oh yeah, museum is finished. So what can I get here now? Do I need more aluminium? Not really, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what I'm going to build here. Yeah, I'm going to get several more great Santis. Well, at least two more. In one turn and then in 13 turns. I don't think I'll be able to get another great Santis for Faith. Because that's going to cost 2000. Yeah, 2400 actually, so I'm not going to get that much Faith. Revolution, okay. Oh, Shoshone adopted order. That's funny. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, they have order now. How's my influence over them then? Because I think I'm the highest influence civilization with order. I don't think Morocco or Indonesia has more tourism than I do. Well, anyway, let's check this. Poland more, uh, and Shoshone. I'm exotic. What about Morocco? Exotic as well and Indonesia? Uh, unknown. Okay. Well, whatever. Doesn't matter. That's a lot of deals expiring. But I'm not going to bother renewing them. As I said, it's really not necessary. Should I just use this guy right now? Yeah. The route of the there was no reason not to. Next. So I might be able to get nanotechnology right when my last spaceship parts finish. I think so. I got 10 turns to finish the engine and 8 turns to finish my last booster. Am I actually building 3 boosters right now? Yes, I am. Well, it will take a little bit longer than 10 turns to get the technology, actually. But these extra turns basically do not matter now. Yeah, I don't think I'll get another great scientist. Promotion? Whatever. What's that unit? Oh, that's a bazooka, I think. That vote is coming up, but no one is going to win that. I don't think so. I am going to kick out... Shaka from Sydney. So I have to pay... 750, okay. Fine by me. What about these cities? 85 ahead, 47 ahead. I suppose I could kick them out here. And that, that would cost me 1000. Yeah, that would cost me 1000. Not sure if that's worth it. I might do it right before the vote. We'll see. Anyway, oh yeah, that's Bazooka. That's one of the new units in Brave New World. That's a funny one. He can stay here, I guess. Recycling center. I'll just grab a hydro plant here. It doesn't even matter. And public school, whatever. So, I think I'm going to cut a few turns out of the video. Because I would actually like this game to finish in this part. So I'm going to skip a few parts and possibly come back right before this United Nations vote happens. Unless something else happens on the way, but 
probably not. So, see you then. Alright, so, there's one turn left before the United Nations vote. I don't think anyone is going to win it, including myself. Even if I spent all of my gold to bribe city-states, I wouldn't have enough votes to get the required 31. But it doesn't really matter, because I'm about to finish my last two boosters. I'm also about to finish my engine. And then I will only need the stasis chamber. I will get nanotechnology in 9 turns. I don't think I'll get any great scientists on the way, so I will have to wait full 9 turns. And as soon as I get nanotechnology, I can start building stasis chamber in Asor. And then it's basically game over. So this game has about 15 turns remaining. Maybe 16 or 17, something like that anyway. So let's have a look. I'm going to vote for myself just because I can. But this is not going to be enough votes. No one has enough votes right now. 31 votes are required to win. But yeah, I'll just vote for myself, like I said. It's not like I have any other option. The booster is done, so I'm going to add that to my spaceship. My last booster and the engine will also be done shortly. And it doesn't really matter what I'm going to build in my capital now. I upgraded some of my units, just in case the AI gets any really funny ideas. That's incredibly unlikely to happen, but you never know. It could happen. So, what can I get here? Just medical lab. As I said, it doesn't even matter what I'm building at this point. I got another mobile sum. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It can stay here. I can still upgrade more units, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. I'm friendly with most AIs. Well, actually, I'm not friendly anymore. Two of them are guarded. Shaka is guarded, Pocatello is guarded, but I'm friendly with everyone else. Portugal was eliminated from the game. As you can see, they are no longer on the list. They lost all of their cities. Sucks to be them. No one is even remotely close to getting cultural victory. And as you saw in the World Congress, no one is even remotely close to getting diplomatic victory either. There's the... no, that's not the vote. That's people who like shiny things. There. So, obviously, it did not... it did not pass. Yep, everyone voted for themselves, basically. So, now I can propose something else. It doesn't really matter what. International Space Station, yeah. I don't think the vote is even going to happen before that's done. But this one is pretty awesome. I'm just going to propose it because I can. But I think the game will be done before that happens. Well, no, it won't be. But it will be close to done. So, booster is done. I'll just grab hospital here. So now I'm basically waiting for nanotechnology to finish. I'm building Manhattan Project in Asor because I can. If I build a nuke, everyone is going to be afraid of me. At least that's how it works in Brave New World, from what I saw. So this status will change to afraid on everyone, because none of them have nukes themselves, and I will have a nuke. I think I'll have to sell one of my nuclear plants to build a nuke. Well, I'm probably not even going to bother with that, I'm just saying. And I'm mostly building the Manhattan Project because I can, not because I have any goal behind it. Pedro actually completed Manhattan Project. Yeah, he entered Atomic Era just a few turns ago or so. So he's just a little bit behind, to say the least. Declaration of Friendship expired with Morocco. I don't even care about that. Opera House, whatever. I'm still the tourism leader, I think. Let's have a look. Not that it matters. Actually, no, Brazil is. But it doesn't even matter. Shaka is having revolutionary wave. Sucks to be him. Brazil's influence is not enough to be influential over even one civilization. 
So he has zero chance of winning this game, basically. He's about to overtake Indonesia, but he would have to overtake Morocco, me and the Shoshone, which is not going to happen at all. And I will win this game in less than 10 turns, most likely. Let's add the engine to my spaceship. So now I'm only missing the stasis chamber, as you can see. That's the last part I need. So it's just a formality to finish this game. I'm going to cut out the next few turns, just to make this a little bit faster. I do want to finish the game in this video. So see you when something interesting happens, possibly once I finish nanotechnology research. The impact of nanotechnology. And here we are. I finished nanotechnology. And I also got a great engineer just before that happened. So now I can start building the stasis chamber and I can use my great engineer to rush it. Like so. So it's going to be done on the next turn. I could have done this in my capital actually, but it doesn't really matter. I upgraded some of my units just in case the AI gets any really funny ideas. So I got one of the strongest armies in the world right now actually. Thanks to all the upgrades that I got. Right, I'm not even looking at what I'm buying because it's kind of irrelevant. But yeah, I should have used that great engineer in my capital, but he popped right here. So I, it, probably, it probably wouldn't have saved me any turns because I would have to move that great engineer to my capital instead of moving my spaceship part to my capital. Right, so now I just have to move my stasis chamber, which is going to take two turns or three turns using my railroad, which basically means this game will be done in about three turns. It should be done before the next World Congress vote, but no one is capable of winning the World Congress. The Shoshone only have 17 votes. I also have 17 votes. And I've been keeping an eye on the city-states, also on his gold. So he doesn't have enough gold to bribe them. He only has 100 gold and he's getting 13 gold per turn. So it's basically not going to happen. Now I just have to move this to my capital and I win. I can finish building my Manhattan project. Actually, I built the Manhattan project. So as I already mentioned in one of the previous parts, I'm actually a little bit surprised how easy this was. Emperor in Brave New World definitely feels easier. So I'm kind of curious if Immortal is a little bit easier in Brave New World too, because there was a huge gap in Gods and Kings between Emperor and Immortal. I did win one game on Immortal, my science game with Babylon, but that was a little bit of a gimmicky game to say the least. I basically played on a map that prevented the AI from ever declaring a war on me. Or well, they did declare war on me, but they weren't able to actually attack me. So I'm kind of tempted to play a game on Immortal, and if it's a little bit easier than it was in Gods and Kings, then I feel like I would be able to win that. But I don't know, if you played on Immortal in Gods and Kings, and if you played on Immortal in Brave New World as well, let me know in the comments below if Immortal in Brave New World feels a little bit easier than it was in Gods and Kings or not. I'm quite interested. Because that will pretty much decide what difficulty I'm going to use for my next game. And speaking of my next game, there are a few things I have in mind for my next game, but I think I'm going to make a separate video about that. It might be up on the channel already by the time you see this or you hear this, because I'm recording this video a little bit in advance. But I have a few things in mind for the next game of the Brave New World, because obviously this is not going to be my only let's play of Brave New World, as I already mentioned at the start. Anyway, added to spaceship. So I got the achievements. Poland can into space. <laughs> Here's my spaceship. So I'm going to go through the replay. 
in just a second. Let's have a look at demographics. Yeah, not a lot to see here. I was almost 20% ahead of the literacy average. The ranking. And I'm going to go through the replay using the map just to see how the game progressed. So let's switch to map and play. I do think one of the deciding factors in this game was the fact I conquered Asur and that other city, Nineveh or whatever it's called. Because Asur was by far my best city in this game. It was a huge help. I'm not sure how this game would progress if I never went to war with Assyria. At least it wouldn't have been as easy to win as it was. Definitely not. I kind of feel like conquering at least one capital from the AI is the key to winning on Emperor Immortal and Dite. Because the AIs tend to have really good capitals and by the time you can capture them they usually have some wonders in there. Which obviously always helps. But that's just what I'm thinking. But yeah, it's... The, this replay is not all that interesting, I already knew most of what's happening here. The biggest surprise in the late game was Indonesia's expansion. Indonesia pretty much conquered Portugal in the late game, as you will see in a little bit. This is turn 300. So Portugal got wiped out by Indonesia, which is not what I expected. I thought Portugal would get wiped out by Shaka, actually. But Shaka was a little bit too far behind in technology, I suppose. So anyway, this replay is done. I should have a totally separate video about future games on Brave New World somewhere on the channel. It might be up already if you're hearing this. But this game is done. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I'll see you next time.